what is up youtube so what i've got here is something a bit different so i found a deal online and it was for this all-in-one uh soldering kit uh from this company called placebo so basically this was 50 percent out of 50 percent coupon i was like well i want to try it out because it's nice to have because i don't want to be if i have a rework station um and uh i've got a soldering iron again you can't be carrying something like that around and this sort of thing was ideal because i can keep with me um in my bag and have it as a backup just in case if i need to do some sort of quick work i've got something there but anyway what this kit comes with is a digital multimeter you've got these which are basically uh, you use this if you want to if you've got some cabling that you've um and you just heat the heat this up and it basically just grips the cable together as well as just like sort of sleeves for cabling when you're doing some sort of uh, work there as well you've got a stand for the soldering line you've got some tweezers down here so you've got some some uh, angle tweezers and you've got some needle tweezers comes with some solder you've also got one of these things over here which is a little wrench here you've got a standing is that a standing is that a standing knife i think it's a standing knife let's have a look at this thing yes indeed it is a standing knife it comes with a standing knife it comes with this thing here as well which is also a i believe you've got some um inside this little compartment you've got some screws uh some screw bits and uh yes yeah, little sort of screwdriver I wouldn't use, I wouldn't say that would be, I have a normal precision screwdriver that I keep with me, but this one's just like an extra one just in case. You've got some solder paste, that's it. It's not Amtec or anything decent, it looks, it says high quality paste, I'm not sure how good that's going to be. Um, but yeah, you've got some solder paste there, you've got a solder sucker, so it's a manual solder sucker. Uh, then you've got the probes for the multimeter. Down here you've also got a practice board, I believe it's just a practice board. Uh, this is a, some wire cutters. So you can also then, if you've got some cabling as well, you can use them as well. So let me have a look at this little breadboard down here. Let's have a look at this breadboard. So it's just a basic, plain old, simple little breadboard that you've got there. Uh, you've also got in here some, I believe some wire cutters. Um, yeah, indeed, they are indeed wire cutters you've got there as well. Da, da, da. And then we've got ourselves the soldering iron itself. So the soldering iron is a simple, um, three pin I'm not saying I'm in the UK so it's a three pin in the UK I believe if you buy this an American version of something with the American flag it'll come with that so yeah um, I'm not sure what power this was I'll have to check on the actual website but yeah just a basic soldering line it's got some settings down here so you've got all the way up to 450 degrees with a manual sort of adjustment setting there and then you've got some bits so you've got numerous little bits here for the soldering line um, not that fine but I mean it's good enough then you've got some electrical tape as well some solder wick some more electrical tape and some wiring down here so this all was a deal uh, I couldn't pass up and um, hopefully there's something that I can I like the the red and black color scheme was also a little plus as well so uh, hence the reason that I went out and bought this I might post a comment when I actually go ahead and use this thing but yeah I might actually check it out instead of actually doing work uh, using uh, my wheel station at work I can just use this thing and uh, see how this goes if I'm out and about and I uh, don't have access to it and see what happens anyway this has been Ace uh, as always like subscribe for more stuff and uh, yeah Ace out